Welcome to Transport Fever 2 where we are building up a transport network. In the last part the focus was very much on upgrading the various lines and particularly the trains because in the previous video we got a new train. It's faster and stronger and it's probably a pretty effective but it's also double the cost in maintenance. So uh, when you, I think it's quite important that whenever you get a new train or, or even a new truck, just don't go wholesale and upgrade everything. You've got to consider very carefully about what can and is what is worth actually upgrading, what isn't worth upgrading. The other thing also is we've now reached the age of the internal combustion engine. We've got this uh, uh, DMG Constat, which is a diesel vehicle, but its emissions are quite high. Also, its loading speed is slow compared to the horse-drawn vehicles. So really and truthfully, you only really want to use it outside the city on a busy line like this, where you, if you watch the trucks come in, they, they literally come in and load almost instantaneously because I've got so much oil sat here. You can see here, I mean, you literally pull up one, two, three, four, five, and away it goes. So you, so you don't really want one of these hanging around in an area which isn't particularly that busy. And things are going okay because I think I mentioned in the end of the video that I needed to spend a little bit of time getting things to settle down. And things are when well, I mean, we've got quite a few, and we've got one, two, three, four, five lines over a million. I mean, it's fluctuating. You can see we're coming up to nearly 500 million. So we don't really have any real big financial problems. The one problem I did start to develop was here. And this is why we've got this great big long viaduct here now. And because what was actually happening is the passenger trains were coming up here. You can see that we've got the the tanker trains in here and what was happening is the, the passenger trains were being held up by the tanker trains. And I did consider coming in here, running along the line and then branching off. And I thought, well, that just seems overly complicated. So what I actually went for was this viaduct across here. And I mean, there is a potential issue in the fact that I want to, if I wanted to add a new train, it would have to come up through here but i think it can still get there and what actually happened again if i go back to here if i can find it i think it's whitby to coniston you can see here i kind of got to find it now <laughs> i must admit managing all these different lines gets a very complicated here you can see this is the line here and you can see that the um rate is at three minutes which i think is pretty good for a train and you can see we're making 273,000 on it before i put that viaduct in this was actually losing about about 100 200,000 a, a cycle as so this is actually turned this around quite well and i deliberately tried to keep this as, with a gentle curve and it's got a little bit steep there i think we're making money now what i want to do in this video is come over to here and i've been looking at this area or as a potential the next money maker is probably the best term because we've got oil here, an oil refinery here, we've got a chemical plant there, and we've got a a goods factory up here, and we've got the ability here to make steel. We've got a little bit of oil there as well, and I can't got to find the cities now. We've got I think we've got Sandown here needs goods, and I think also Bingley needs goods. So we've got a nice little economic area here that could work quite well. And I've been looking at this before I started the recording and my instinct is to have a train station here that runs up to here. We'll drive the oil and plastic production with trucks. So we can bring oil up to here. And then down there we can bring, so we'd have a two way flow here with um, oil going this way. The only problem is we may have to have two separate lines because oil and well trucks carry everything don't they what am i on about but the first thing i want to do is do a little bit of road engineering here so we're just going to come in here and what i want to do is i certainly don't want you i want you actually what are you you're 40 you're 60. i think maybe for here because we're getting the faster vehicles what i want to do is come to here and I'm gonna come out to here like that. Now there is a method in my madness because if I delete this here, 
what I want to do is come in here if I put the train station in first and of course we're gonna want a good station here I think we're gonna go two platforms here it means I've got a station here now that will run indirectly into here I won't have to do any vehicle transporting so we can now get rid of this. Actually, what I could do is... I think we'll just make this even tidier. Okay, I'm just going to take this out. Get this. Okay, I'm just going to up like this. My instinct also is to put a, a bit of road here so that we can have the pick up and drop off point here. So we can come in with oil here. Let's just get the oil line up and running. And I think three platforms would be pretty good here. We want the oil coming in and we may want to take goods out. So actually I'm yeah, we'll go three. Yeah, I think this will work. Let me put this here. I want it in range of the the train station. We'll put that there. Then we'll go back to just two platforms here. I'm just going to we can get how far away can we get? Well, this is as far away as possible, so we can get that there. That gives me a really short distance. Ship things that way. And uh, oops. Let's see how far away we can get that. I think that works. And while we're at it, we'll just put a. Actually, let's put the truck thing up here. So. What we can get is a new line from here to here, and we'll call you sand down oil, no crude oil. So you're the crude oil line, and then we we'll go from here, new line to here. We'll call you sand down oil and plastic. I can't spell plastic. We got that there. We got coming up to here, to here, to here. So we're just going to buy some vehicles. I think we can use these because on this line, because one, this the oil field will pump out loads of oil and the extra carry capacity so we'll put about i think we'll put six on here to start with and sand down crude oil and we'll buy uh, i think we're gonna need oops it's on that i think maybe this route we need a few more and we're gonna put you on Sand down oil and plastic. I did get the right one. So that should get this up and running. But we won't get a demand for plastic until we get the connection through to here. So the next thing we need to do is get up, put the train in here. Now we're going to need to take goods out and steal in. We've got our steel production is up here. We've got coal, iron, and steel here. Okay, we might be able to do it with trucks. But then... Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to just put in a terminus here with two, two platforms to start with. Just in case I need to ship other things out of it, other goods out of here. I'm going to run you that way. And what we're going to do now is... We're going to run uh, I mean, we 
but this line may get busy. Let's keep pushing up through here. I mean, we're maintaining 120 at the moment, which is great. Yeah, we've got a bit of a cut cutting there. Okay, I'm just going to push through to here. I suppose what I could do is actually put the roads over the rails. That's probably the more cheaper solution, to be honest. I mean, we'll probably double track this eventually, but. I think maybe we'll just start with a single track with one train at the moment just to get this up and running. No, we've got the money for it. Double track it. Oops. I mean, this line will probably end up supplying all the plastic to the entire map eventually. But we might as well double track all the way through and of course we're going to put the crossovers in just like that and like that in so that and it's it's only taken me seven parts to realize the fact that I'm actually building the tracks on the continental side and this is the opposite to tracks on the British side believe it or not <laughs> but that's the way it goes I think with railway tracks it's not quite so important whether the which direction the trains go as long as you keep everything connected in the right direction it's not like uh, the difference between left hand drive and right hand drive when you're laying out roads in city skylines it's something that always gives me problems because when I get to things like roundabouts and junctions I get everything the wrong way round, and then I end up having to rebuild things and of course what we're going to have to do is get a we'll have to find a reasonably flat area to get a terminal in plus we've got plenty of space here as well so we can put a line for depot in so we've got you into there There, use it there. And then bring you off back to here, like that. Which we curve. Oops, nope. You're off now. And try it. Condition of train 34 is very poor. Thank you, game. And what we're going to do now is just run from line from there to there. And for you, full plastics. Sort this have a look at the cargo. Right, so we get, we just need these box cars here. So we can get a steam engine. My instinct is to go with one fast train as opposed to two mediocre trains. So let me go there and we come in here. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. I think we'll do that. And we need the plastics. What we should get 
is this up and running now? How's the how are we doing here? I mean, the production's picking up. We got loads, so I think we're going to need to expand this almost immediately. And in here. I think what we're going to do is clone these out almost immediately. Just to get the oil flowing even faster. So we've now got our, the plastic side done. What we've got to do now is get in the We've got coal here and oil. Uh, not coal, oil for my own about. We've got oil up here. And we've got a road up there, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build a build you up roughly alongside here. This is the faster road as well. get this up as a train line. Fine, let's just take this out for the moment. So fine, that's all that. If I put a a station there where I can bring coal up from here. Did I get a pattern? So I could get a station here. Let's work this out. So if I run a station a train from here to here, into here, out to here, back to here, but and we don't we can clover leaf into here. Um, yeah, I could run from there through station there into here, up to here, up to here, and back through there. Trouble is, the trucks that I need for let's check here the steel needs flat cars. And or needs gondolas. Nah, no, 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 no. I think it might just be easier to do this with trucks. Um, yeah, I was on the right path here. We're going to put you to there to there. You from there to there. I could put a rail line through here and just run this through as a triangle. Sorry for my indecision. Let's take this out again. Yeah, so what we're going to do is put a train station here. As we, we'll pull coal up from here. So let's just get this set up first. So uh got a building here. I mean I can I can really push this out a very long way. It's only gonna come that far. It's good enough. And we I don't think I actually need line there and we can run trucks into here and we've got uh, another road depot hate putting road depots everywhere I think maybe we'll just put you down here and we'll create a route from here to here and we'll call you all 
get you in there up and running and I probably just need about five of these six no because it's cheap Put six of these onto where is it cool coal get them running and then what we're going to do is there's nothing really over here that's going to need a train so what we'll do is come into here uh, we'll build a single term terminus station in here that connect yes wow that's great and then we'll run the tracks out there and then over here uh, streets build a, build a token road like that now that should then go back to here don't ship someone Terminus again we'll spawn a single terminus here. Okay, haha. <laughs> Not gonna Okay, we can get that in there like that. And what I can do then is just hook the get to the track run like over like that Curve in like that um, that's right You come down here and then you come back this way. And then we we'll hook you up. Well, that's a collision drink, thank you, Gabe. You cancel that. I think we're just come in like that. And then hook we'll you into there like that. So we we'll go from there to there to there on a single train. And then what we'll probably do is use passing places rather than double track things. So we can put a start from um, and we go from there, 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 and we'll call you Pool Steel and Iron. This one's going to be a little bit messy. Bit steam here. Again, one fast train. I think we'll start with one fast train. Cargo. Probably need about two, three, four, five, six of maybe five of those. And then. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine, ten of uh, iron like that. Uh, we'll buy and we'll allocate you to all steel and iron like that. Hopefully this train won't have a problem. No. I mean it's gonna take a little while, just gonna speed up a bit so that we can get this running. What they will do is come up to here, round to here.
I mean, we only have the one train on here at the moment, so it should be okay. I mean, the only problem is we can't have two-way signals here, so uh, I don't think it's a problem. Let's see which way this train goes. What I will need here though is another line, the up line, because it's not going to run. Just realise that. So you're going to have to come in like that. Because you're going to need a down line into here, then an up line back up, so that you get onto the right side of the tracks. Actually, what I'll probably do is just get with these two signals here. Got to be very careful now. Get rid of you and you. And we'll then put in you there. There, just to emphasize to the train that it's got to be on the right side of the line. Okay, let's just get a track on this train. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, you can see we've already got a great big pile of iron here, so get in here. Yeah, we've got 40 iron on there. How much? Yeah, we've got 100 coal in here already, so we may need to go to a second train. But we'll see how that goes and how it keeps everything going nice and smoothly. What I need to do now is create a demand for the goods that we'll be producing up here in Sandown. Let's just have a look at this area here. Right, the goods are up on this side of the town, so first things first, let's just put in. Okay, I think we can start seriously talking about upgrading the roads. Yeah, conditions of multiple vehicles are very poor, yes, thank you. I think we're just going to drop you maybe in a little bit like that. Uh, I mean, the goods are in this area. So if I put that there, and we're, um, Sand down goods. Buy some trucks here, and we'll start with about six of them, and we'll put you on sand down goods. We'll look at these lines just to see how everything is working. Where's sand down? Uh, manage line. That's London Road. Send down south. We will put you on three. Anyway. Send down crude is on on two, and. You're on three. Okay, you need to go to two. Is that right? Doesn't look right. I'll look. Oh no, because this has got four, isn't it? Condition of train forty-two is very poor. So we've now got this line up and running. Of course, what we can do is start to run goods out to here, but what I want to do is just get the line established for the moment. So, how are we doing here? Yeah. Yeah, the iron's not doing as well as I was hoping for. Okay. I 
think what we're going to do is I don't really want to double these tracks up, so we're going to play this well. Let's do this one first. you to there and into there like that and we'll signal you up this way these don't really need to worry too much about what direction they're in and we'll just put you out like that run you through like this that should make it work efficiently because this is already double tracked so I need to, was it was it's full steel and iron isn't it oops let's stop pressing the down key when I'm doing things full steel and iron manage vehicles and we're gonna clone you Oh, it's the auto save going through. And this is getting pretty efficient because we got 20 goods here already. Which we can run backwards and forwards between here. And what we got here? We've got plastic as well, so maybe i need to work on the this send down all the plastic managed vehicle Oops, not with all that back on the trains this pool plastic and it seems to be. why are you running up and down one side of the track okay that's a potential problem i'm just gonna gonna clone you first then we're gonna pause oh I didn't put a crossover here that's uh, my fail let's get game run let this run right I'm aware that time's pushing on I just want to make sure this is all up and running yeah you yeah, pull plastics is this a quick check my manager yeah so it's now split into the two tracks this is one way that you can check whether tracks are working properly when they're dual tracked. Is if it's not, you will see it like a, like it was there with one line. Yeah, so we've got this little bit of a dead patch here, but that should be okay. And we've got 18 steel here. And we got the iron flowing in really well. It was all the steam coming out as the iron factory kicks into action. Yeah, I think this is going to work. Let's just check the money. Oh, how's the cash going? Whip the whip be to Grantham is running this way. Sandown Goods is losing money. But that's okay. Uh, let's just have a look. I mean, Paul Plastics is already raking the money in. Yep. I think that was a pretty successful build there. And there's probably only one thing really left to do now, and that is we're building up. What are we doing here? 
good view. So at the moment, there's more than enough goods flowing up into Sandowns. Let's have a look at Sandowns requirements. Yeah, I mean, they only need 28, but they've now got them starting to kick off with respect to transportation. And I mean, what I could do then is as this builds up and becomes more and more productive, what I can do then is send goods out to Bingley here, which is not really growing as fast as I was hoping for. In fact, let's just do it. But I don't want to run up through here. I think what we will do is invest in a bit more in expensive streets. And what I'm going to do is just run off to here and up to here. And maybe we go like that. That's a faster journey. And what we're going to do is just come in here. And the goods are on this side of town, so what we're going to do is they come up down here like that. And so we'll hook you into there like that. We can hook you across like that. And we will put in the delivery about there. And what we'll do is we'll create a new line from here to here. Oh, I have to fix that. I don't want the vehicles running through. Oh, I suppose I could. Hmm. Um, I think this is Bingley, isn't it? Call you uh, Bingley Goods. Like that. I'm not happy with the. Uh, I'm going to do is put a turn landmark there. There's Bingley Goods. <laughs> sort by name. Bingley Goods, my manager. Get rid of you. And got a new road there. Let me just check. Yes, <clears throat> I think I can live with that a little bit actually. No. Just make it even a, a, even more polished than that. So if we come into here, add a need to make sure it's on the right side. And not manage line. And new road. And that pulls this truck away from the residential area. I think that will work. So we've now got a line running up from here. Oh, the other thing I didn't do with the uh, goods. Finish line. And down south. Uh, what we've got here. A sand down goods. Which line are you on? You're on three. Right. So, what we need now is... Bingley... Bingley goods. I want you on three as well. And in theory what should happen now is I come to pretty really good so the line manager. What we should get is the same trucks picking up from the same location. I'm not sure if that actually has any effect but I don't really want them interfering with actually no good this is what is this here? Um, I 
All in plastic. To be honest, I don't think it really makes that much difference. Let me just expand this a little bit. And if you know any different, feel free to chuck it in the comments. a little bit bigger um, just gonna check this again so Bingley Goods is coming in on oh, this has actually gone to line four, uh, line four now well, that's good I think I can live with that and we've got Sandam has actually gone to four as well. I think it's just readjusted itself to what what it needs to do. Anyway, I think that is looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. We've got lots of plastic here though. 40 plastic running up through here. What's the production like here? Yeah, I think this is working pretty well actually. I'm happy with this. And I've just noticed the time. This is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. In the next part, I've got absolutely no idea what I want to do. I mean, it would be nice to get some stone in to work with Paul. But maybe it is time to come down to the bottom of the map. I know I mentioned it at the end of the last video. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.